Okay, back to it. There was no fight. The dogs got on very well. Um, okay, so where was I? Okay, about intelligence. So, uh, any sort of um, designer, if you like, that is capable of making humans has to be more complex or intelligent, if you like, than um, humans themselves. That's the assumption that theists have, because, of course, God has to be pretty complex in most formulations, at least. And, um, and that's the assumption that's made by evolutionary, uh, evolutionary scientists as well, quite rightly. Uh, I suppose what I'm looking at here is, you know, where am I looking at here? I suppose I'm looking at Linux, which is the operating system. Linux operating system is um, very complex. I'm not sure you'd say it was intelligent, but it's certainly very complex. And almost certainly more complex than the individual efforts of the people who made it. It's an open source system. It's been um, constructed over several years um, based on an original bit of work by, I think, minus 12 hours. Um, but it's been added to and different features have been put into it and bugs have been taken out of it. And this whole process has happened by multiple, probably thousands of users right across the world over long periods of time, tinkering with little bits of the code for the operating system. So now Linux is, you know, is very stable and a powerful system. Um, but as I say, the key thing there is that the operating system, the intelligence, if you like, uh, measured as a measure, if you measure it through its complexity at least, is probably greater than its uh, in, than, the people, than the things that made it, uh, which were human in that particular case, at least in, that, in terms of that part of their operation. So, what that suggests to me is that um, complex systems, um, intelligent systems, can arise from simpler, unintelligent systems. But not, I mean, that's an obvious in the evolutionary sense. But um, in terms of intelligent design, the, the, the distinction to be made there is that the entities which produce Linux are intelligent. They're humans working around the world. Um, they just happen to have produced something which is of a higher order of intelligence in some areas, able to do things that they individually can't. So is there a way of building that into the seriously flawed understanding that we have right now of intelligent design, which is kind of teleological, I guess, and, and theological, ultimately? I suppose... <laughs> Look at that face. Sorry, my dog is just smiling at me. Um, I suppose what I'm looking at there is that, uh, that human beings have come about not because some um, some skyhook was in operation where some more intelligent being reached down and pulled us up to the level that we are at now. It's more like that intelligent, complex entities cells, for example, or, or, um, uh, or some kind of primate, if you want to go less far back. Intelligent, smart, certainly by contrast to a rock, pushed us up. Intelligence from the bottom. You don't need aliens to make um, complex, intelligent human beings, but you do need intelligence. It just doesn't have to be greater intelligence, it just has to be great enough to push to the next step. Now, whether you choose to, I'm just, I'm just going back to the creation science roots of intelligent design here, um, whether you choose to uh, worship that creator is up to you, I personally wouldn't, but uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense, I don't think. Actually, that's wrong, actually, you certainly should respect the creative process. I think it'd be, I think looking back to our old ancestors, to our to the prokaryotic cells that pushed on to get to the level of multicellular organisms and the, the multicellular organisms that were able to push up the next level of intelligence to the to animals that could 
possibly produced sexually. We were able to push up to the next level to animals that could plan and um, eventually have consciousness. Who knows what we're pushing up to? But it's these. Um, if you're going to respect anything and have reverence for anything, it seems to me, it doesn't necessarily have to be something that's superhuman. It could be um, subhuman and animal and cellular and ultimately simply physical. So when the guy's talking from the Discovery Institute about seeing intelligence in the world and looking for a designer, I just think he's looking in the wrong direction. Instead of looking up to the more complex, you should look down to the less complex. And uh, yeah, there are designers there. They're not working to design briefs, they're not theological designs, but um, design nonetheless.